Welcome to my channel. This is Let Us Eat, and I'm Suzanne Ridgway. Today, we are going to continue my quest with the kicking the paper towel habit. This is the counter cloth, and I used it in my video yesterday on my faucets and sinks in the bathroom and the kitchen. And I really enjoyed using the cloth yesterday, and it held up well. And it may look small, but let me tell you, it does giant jobs and it absorbs well, and it stays in shape and holds well, and you can tug on it, it doesn't rip or tear, it's strong, it's the counter cloth, and it will help you kick the paper towel habit. We seldom use paper towels for cleanups, but we do use it for draining foods like bacon, so I just want to be able to use my paper towels for that purpose only, food, and kick the paper towel habit. If you are new here, thank you so much for finding me. Look for that red subscribe word and click on it. And those of you who have subscribed to me in the past few days, thank you so much for joining my growing family. Your views mean a lot to me. Give this video a big thumbs up and tap the bell for all my notifications. I do cooking, cleaning, extreme cleaning, decluttering, meal planning, Dollar Tree hauls, grocery hauls, free food hauls, and just everything in between with life in general. I want to help you declutter your home, clean your home, motivate you to meal plan, to save money on your food budget, and get it all done. My slogan is get it all done for 2021, and I have been staying on top with an easy cleaning schedule. I don't do everything every day. I do certain things certain days of the week. Yesterday, we had little laundry, so we were able to skip our regular laundry routine with the big storm we had with the ice and snow mixed. So today is going to be laundry day once the sun's up later and things have time to thaw because it's going to be above freezing for the first time in a while. It's been really cold in New York and most of the United States. And I have been working on my YouTube channel, hoping to gain more subscriptions so I can reach that 200 level. You viewing helps me make more noise on YouTube so I can get noticed as a YouTuber and a blogger and a homemaker. I want to help you get organized and get it all done for 2021, and I want to help you kick the paper towel habit. My friend Neen O'Haley on Facebook encouraged me to use the counter cloth and join the challenge. Today's challenge is going to be small appliances, like your coffee maker, toaster, and microwave. And I'm going to be taking videos of myself cleaning them. The counter cloth. I'm going to wipe down my coffee maker. And for being organized and decluttered, it's cords. They are a nuisance, and they get all over. And I put two command hooks on, one upright, one upside down, and it houses my cords in between uses for my coffee maker. It works very well. Look how nice and shiny clean your coffee maker is with the counter cloth. Now my next is going to be the microwave. Your microwave, the counter cloth. I'm going to wipe it down. You do the keypad and the handle. Let your family members touch the microwave more than you think. And I keep my microwave very clean so it will be easy for me to maneuver in here with my microwave cloth. All nice and sparkly and wipe down and keep your number pads clean. 
I'm going to get a, a good sweep in my TV room. You should sweep every day to keep the dust down. Dust a couple times a week. Shake your rug out a couple times a week. And I shook my rug out. found a great way to use my Nikon stand and my selfie stick and it clamps right onto it. And I'm going to sweep up and then do a light mop in here so it's cleaned up. I'm going to clean up the dining room because we're going to have ribs tonight at the dinner table. I have done crock pot ribs in the past, and I'll put that in the description box below so you can make my semi-homemade barbecue sauce for pork ribs. Here is the Walnut Furniture Saver from Dollar Tree. And I've had this jelly cabinet since I was about 28 years old. I'm just going to fill in the scratch here. I heard a walnut does the same thing. If you tried that before, comment below. I'm going to fill it all in. And then I'm going to wipe it clean with my magic eraser to see if it makes any kind of a difference. Testing out the product with you so you can see before you buy. I've had this for a very long time and I love this cabinet very useful. I have some Dollar Tree locker bins and one of my command hook hacks. I hang my 11 year old's masks here for school. I use it for storage because I don't have a lot of uh, closets in the house. The only thing I don't like about this product is if you have small children and they see you using it, they may think it's okay to draw on your furniture and just teach them young what's okay and not so okay. I picked this up at the Dollar Tree as a three pack and I'm going to wipe it clean and see how well it worked. There's a lot of wood imperfections in the cabinet which gives it character and charm. It's a cupboard and they call them jelly cupboards and I love it. I've had it, like I said, I've had it a really long time. I want to keep it nice so I can pass it down to one of my children as well as my TV stand that my mom had growing up. And I have it, and we've housed many TVs on it over the years. She's been gone for 26 years now, I believe. And I have some of her things and pictures of her. And my children look so much like her. It's so nice. I give this product a big thumbs up. At a glance, the scratch has completely disappeared. Again, just teach your children. It's not okay to write on furniture. That you're just fixing things. And it's a three-pack. And they may have different wood tones, so check it out the next time you're looking and looking for unique things to purchase. 
I like to buy things that will help me with my video, to help me increase my views and my subscriptions. And at this time, thank you so much for everybody who has liked my videos in the past few days and subscribed. I'm a growing family and I'm glad you jumped aboard. You all mean a lot to me. You all matter. My friend Kelly Bartholomew, who views and comments on my channel, please go check her out on her channel and give her a like and a subscribe. I will put a link to her video channel in the description box below, as well as my pork ribs for dinner tonight, because I have done videos of those in the past with my semi-homemade barbecue sauce. And I also like to thank Neen O'Haley for encouraging me to kick the paper towel habit and use the countercloth for spills and wipes and cleanups and everything in between. We can get it all done for 2021. Subscribe to me and I'll help you stay motivated to meal plan, to cook, to clean, to budget shop, to do, uh, see what's at the Dollar Tree, what's hot, what's not to do food hauls, free food hauls, and everything in between.